What's up guys, welcome to my channel Patol in Motion. If you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Ira and over here we do project management and lifestyle videos. And if you're one of my lovely, lovely, lovely subscribers coming back for another video, <laughs> come on in, you already know it's gonna be a good one. So let's get straight into it. All right guys, so today we're gonna be talking about two different types of employment options, contracting roles and also permanent roles. And what are the differences between both of them? If you've been in the world of work for a little while now, you would have seen these two different types of employment agreements in job ads. And you're probably wondering, which one should I go for? What is more suited for me, my needs, what I need out of life right now? And it's a very good question. So I'm gonna break it down right now and make sure you stay right until the end because I'm gonna give my roundup and opinion of what I think of both of them and for me personally in my life in my project management journey where I'm looking to head in the future so yeah let's get it popping guys now me of course being a project management babe I will be using a lot more project management examples in this video but even if you're not in project management you can definitely apply some of these things that I'm going to say to the roles that you may be applying to because contracting roles and permanent roles are literally everywhere these days so first of all what is a contractor and what are contract roles so a contractor is someone that agrees to provide his or her expertise to a specific company for usually a specific specific project and for a specific time period. So what's a permanent role then? Someone that's in permanent employment is hired by a company to fill a specific role but the main difference is that there is no set end time for that role to end. So they'll just keep working until someone hands in their notice, either the employment company to them or them to their employer. Employment term is the biggest difference between the two roles. That's what actually distinguishes a contracting role from a permanent role. If you're looking for a contract role within project management in the UK, you'll most likely see them say, it's gonna be for six months or three months or nine months to start. At the end of that six months, they may let you go not always they might decide okay you're doing a great work here or the project has overrun we need you on for a little bit longer but really it means this is the amount of time that we're going to keep you on in contract roles the notice period for them to let you go sometimes isn't really defined and sometimes it can actually be on the day because the term is not guaranteed and it has a specific end date already specified as well you have to think about financial risks here you might be thinking you're earning money you're having great time and if they let you go tomorrow <laughs> the bill man's still gonna come on time you know whether you have a job or not in terms of financial risks contracting is a lot more risky. However, on permanent roles, because there is no defined end date, you're just gonna keep working and working until you hand in your notice, which in the UK is around four weeks to three months. In a permanent role, if they want to let you go, they have to give you notice anyway, so you can start looking for another role whilst you're on, in that notice period. But contracting roles, if they say you're gone at the end of the week, <laughs> Like this, you hand in your laptop, you hand in your bag and you move your foot and that's how it goes. The next main difference is the compensation. And this is where a lot of people are attracted to contracting roles specifically. And the reason for that is because most contract roles are paid a per hour wage or a per day wage. For example, in the UK, as a project manager, you can earn 400, 500, 600, 700 pounds a day. And that is a lot of money when you think about what it would be over a whole entire year. We're looking at the coins. Whereas permanent roles, they are paid a salary over a year period. And if you work less than that particular year, it will be prorated. Permanent roles also tend not to be paid as much as contract roles if you look at the per hour or the per day rate. Instead of a 400, 500, 600 pounds, we're looking at a 100, 200 per day wage. So a massive difference there. And that's why there's a lot of people that when they do get into the project management game they tend to go for those contract roles what a lot of people that go for contracting roles often forget however is that by going for contracting role you are foregoing a lot of those employment benefits that you would get from a permanent role these are things like pension contributions bonus bank holidays that are paid in the uk but if you're a contractor and you have to take a bank holiday because it's a national holiday you do not get paid also things like sick pay if a contractor is ill and they cannot work that day guess what they ain't getting paid the rule of thumb for contractors is if you don't work 
you don't get paid and that's why also a lot of contractors tend to want to work as much as they possibly can to get paid however a permanent employee if you decide to break your leg tomorrow and you're off work for two weeks the employer will pay for that time even though you are recovering so if you see it as a safety net it can be a great benefit ultimately you really just need to weigh up the costs and how much you are really getting in permanent roles weigh up all of those intangible financial add-ons against contracting roles where yes you are paid a higher wage but you don't get all of those safety net extra bonuses etc that you would get from a permanent role level of expertise <laughs> all right let's talk about this guys in contract roles they are expected to hit the ground running especially within project management there isn't really that room for you to try to understand how to do this and how to do that because they are paying you that premium that extra money and they have most likely also got you in for a specific project where they need a specific set of skills they are expecting you to be at a certain expertise level whereas a permanent role you might be able to have a little bit more grace to get things wrong to find your foot in if it's a new long-term role once you've proven in the interview that you have the capability to do the role the employer is most likely going to invest in you a lot more in terms of training etc so that you can eventually get your skills up and do a really really good job as a contractor once again they are trying to get their value fast because you're not here for that long at the end of that six months they would have expended a lot of money and they want to make sure they clawed it back in value for that project i always invite people if you're starting off in a new career in project management specifically and you haven't really done projects you haven't really delivered end to end etc contracting roles may be very daunting they usually are less forgiving if you get something wrong <laughs> they will cut you and of course they don't need to give you much notice because it is a contractor role i've also noticed that a lot of entry-level roles aren't contracting roles just for the explanation that i've just given they expect people to have several years of experience and be able to hit the ground running which entry-level pm roles don't really have the next difference between the two roles are flexibility and autonomy in contracting roles you have a lot more flexibility with your time and a lot more autonomy of your time if you decide actually i only want to work for a specific period of time six months and decide to take the rest of the six months off it's not a bad idea and it's definitely something you can do i know a lot of people that do that they only work half the year rack up all their bags and then live off the rest of that money that they've made up front throughout the rest of the year and are able to claw back their time to spend with loved ones or travel whatever you want to do whereas permanent role unfortunately <laughs> with only 25 days annual leave for most uk employers yeah unfortunately your flexibility is in the hand of your employer there's only so much time you can take off lastly then i'll say the main difference between contracting and permanent work is career progression opportunities in contracting there really isn't much a thing as career progression you come in as let's say a project manager you deliver the project you end the contract and you move on to your next contract and that's kind of it you can't expect any training or additional development or learning from that organization they are not interested in that believe me they are just there to use your skills suck as much of it out of you as possible and then once you have given them what they want and they have given you your money of course you cut ties and you keep it going however in permanent roles the company is way more invested in seeing you progress they usually want to retain their staff it looks good on the company and also they can get a good return on investment in terms of the training and development that companies usually pour into their staff in terms of progression within the company as well there's usually one-to-ones with your manager where you have a clear progression path whether that's from a project coordinator how can i get to project manager how can i get to senior project manager and there's a path to do that that is planned in there so quite different i would say ultimately by the time you get to a contract role 
you have to ask yourself how much do you really care about career progression of course you can progress your career you can go into like a project director role but it will be a, i would say a little bit more difficult because you'll need to prove yourself um to get up to that role without the help of your current organization also all right so those are the main differences now you might be asking yourself oh, what should I do you know for where I am in my life in my journey in my career right now should I be looking for permanent roles or should I be looking for contract roles I would say if you are brand new to employment and especially if you're just getting your foot into project management I always like I said before I just advise people start off in permanent learn 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 get your footing right then if you want to if all the other things that we've discussed in this video already are of benefit for you then why not go and dabble in contracting it's a good way to increase your yearly income fast and also have a lot more flexibility that being said if you are going to go into contracting roles you really do need to think about the financial risks that are involved as well what happens if you lose your contract have you got other multiple streams of income so you can still pay your bills if the answer is no, you might want to rein it back, maybe have the safety of permanent um, employment um, until you get some of those extra streams of incomes up. But that's just my opinion. So for me right now where I am, I've always been a permanent role girly. I've never actually worked as a contractor and lots of people ask me that all the time and they're really surprised. Where I am in my career, I have five years plus experience. I've delivered end to end. I have shown my value and I can definitely show that to my next employer if I decide to do that I can definitely get a contract role however for me where I am right now the things that I've got going on I personally I'm staying in permanent work one I'm not really a risque person where I am at the moment I have a great manager the company is really supportive and really flexible if for example I need to take time off etc so I kind of get a lot of those benefits of contracting without actually being a contractor I also get a bonus and also sick pay which I think is really key and good to have because you just don't know what's happening in this life I am starting to build up my multiple streams of income but I like the stability of permanent work even though I'm getting a lot of those contracting benefits in my permanent role and also my salary is not bad I would say for me permanent is where to go and that's where I'm most likely going to be in the next couple years or so all right guys so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope I was able to break down the differences between contracting and permanent work so you can decide what's best for you do drop me a comment down below let's continue the conversation what do you think about contracting roles have you done it it'll be nice to hear from some of you that have actually in a real life done it and also if you want to stay in a permanent role you know why is that do you let me know once again remember to subscribe for more content like this and until next time see you later